Hello, hello, and welcome back to Theory Hammer 40k Enthusiasts. Today, we are going to be doing another unit breakdown by going over the Paragon War Suits with Vol, of course. If you like what you see, what you hear, what you smell, mostly just what you see and hear, then turn the like button into molten slag with your multi melts, burn Nurgle's bell icon, subscribe to the theory of how to use a hammer, and check out our other videos as well. I'm sure you'll find something that you like, and if you don't, uh, well, then sorry. So, this unit is dumb. This unit one-shots basically any single model in the game, and between its shooting and combat, will basically kill anything up to and including like 10 Terminators with Armor of Contempt, which, spoiler alert, is not their ideal target. So let me drop the theory hammer on you ladies. You get the grenade strat first because they have the grenades keyword. You have three grenade launchers, you have six multi melta shots, you have two missiles, you have six shots with Fidelis, you reroll hits, you reroll wounds, you're plus one to hit and you're plus one to wound, at least against monsters and vehicles. So you know what? I don't even need to say anymore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, so obviously I'm kidding. Let's uh, shoot a Land Raider. This thing is so dead. Like, we'll see what has cover and armor of contempt, right? So we get six melt of shots. You basically get six hits. You get 5.83. We're plus one to wound with rerolls, so we're going to wound with 75% of that, which is 4.735, so... Let's not forget, we're in the Bringers of Flame Detachment, so we moved 17 inches, and we definitely got within Melta range. Alright, so like four wounds, right? You're on a four-up save with Armor of Contempt and Cover. So half of those get through, which we'll just say is two. On average, it's 11 wounds from the Melta. With a single Miracle Dice, it's 13.5. That's all you need, because you already did three to it with your Grenade Strat. With two Miracle Dice, it's just 16 flat, which is just Dead Land Raider. But do we, like, do we need the two Miracle Dice? No, we don't. We have grenades, which we throw before we shoot, and that's just three mortals to the Land Raider before we even shoot the Meltas. We didn't even shoot anything else. So the Land Raider is just dead. So that's cool. And yeah, so we didn't even need to shoot any of our other guns. We did not need to charge it. We just looked at the Land Raider, said, ha ha, made a Miracle Dice happen, and it just died. All right, let's do an Imperial Knight. You get the same deal. So grenade strat first, boom. You're down to like 19 wounds. We'll calculate the feel no pain at the end. So you get 4.375 wounds from the Melta. Obviously you can't do that in real life, but we're just gonna figure out all the math at the end. So we're gonna use the two Miracle Dice. We're gonna do another 16 wounds. And that takes us to 19, leaving the Knight at three wounds left. Again, we're not counting for the feel no pain quite yet. We have grenade launchers. That's Three hits, basically. It's 2.92. You're plus one to wound, so 75% of those will wound, which is 2.2. We'll assume the knight's in cover, so it's on a four-up save. That's 1.1 that get through for basically a total of two more wounds. With our missiles, we get about two hits. We get about a wound and a half. About a half of those get through, and then on average, we'll be doing about two and a quarter more wounds. If Fidelis really wants to shoot, it's 5.83 hit again, so you're wounding on fives with rerolls, so 75%. It's 3.2 .2 wounds. If you're in cover, you're getting a three up save, so you fail like one. So you do about two damage with that. So 26 wounds right now, basically, after all of that. The knight has a six up feel no pain, which is going to give it like an extra four wounds. So it's got 22 wounds to start, so call it 26, and that's basically exactly what we just did. So... I guess it's dead. Now, for the record, again, we haven't charged yet. Like, this unit has only shot so far. All right, well, let's shoot Magnus next. He may actually survive this, though, but he will need, like, minus one damage on him, a reroll with a strat, and a reroll with a cabal point, and, like, the blank damage thing as well. Like, he'll need, like, everything. So, you start out the same way, right? Grenade strat. All right, you're down to 13 wounds. You get, like, 4.37 wounds from the Melta, right? So that's a 4-up invuln with access to double rerolls. With one of the rerolls, we use it like a melta, against a melta. We only get like one and a half wounds through, basically. And this is, where, this is where the math gets a little weird, like half of those wounds are being blanked, so... You know, blah blah blah. After all is said and done, the one that does get through will on average be about 5.5 wounds, you know, plus the one that is blanked. That becomes one damage as well, so... Yeah, it, it's kind of kind of hard to follow, but either way, 
the Melted does like a grand total of six and a half wounds. So we've done nine and a half wounds to Magnus and he's got six and a half wounds left. Then the other guns, they're not gonna be enough to do it, but you get about two wounds after everything with the grenade launcher. He takes, you know, one, it's D3 damage, so it becomes like one, and he's got like five and a half wounds left. The missiles, you get about one and a half wounds. It's a D6 damage weapon, so he's definitely gonna use the other Cabal reroll on that. And uh, like less than one get through. And uh, with the rerolls, it's actually more like like not even half a wound that get through. So, but you then multiply that by the amount of damage that the weapon does and it's like one total wound. And then, yeah, he's got like four wounds left. Fidelis shoots, you know, four wounds after everything. He's in cover, so he's, he's only taken like less than one of them. If he does fail one, it's another one damage. So then he's down to like three wounds, four wounds. So we can't quite get through shooting Magnus, but that's why Magnus is gonna have his own video dedicated to him. So be sure to like and subscribe because he is also insane. Uh, if this was Morty though, he would be dead as Morty does not have a blank damage ability or a twice rerollable four up invuln. So I guess we'll have to charge Magnus. So you know, 12 attacks, strength eight, AP two, two damage, which is an upgrade. Plus one to hit, plus one to wound, full rerolls to hit and wound. It's like 12 hits basically. It's like 12, or uh, not 12, it's like nine wounds basically. He's gonna fail half, so he's gonna take like four and a half wounds because he's still at minus one damage. But like, oh, he's dead now because we did like, he only had like four wounds left in the first place. You didn't even need to swing with Vol. And speaking of Vol, let's just see how much damage she could do. And this is gonna be like the minimum amount of damage that she can do. So yeah, we snort a miracle dice and get three extra attacks. You get like seven and three quarters hits, one and a half of which, and like 1.3 of which are gonna be sixes when you go to roll a wound, and those are three damage dev wounds. With the reroll, it's like another one, so it's like two and a half wounds at three damage with dev wounds. It's like eight wounds on literally anything that's toughness nine or higher, except for Magnus or other things that are minus one damage, but then she also gets another four wounds at AP two and three damage, so, just assume you're getting a four up save in combat from that, like cool. Take another six wounds please, plus the eight devs for a total of like 13 or 14 wounds from Vol alone. And you didn't even use any miracle dice to auto wound for devs. So let's target something that's not ideal, like a Terminator squad. With Armor of Contempt, Vol kills like three Terminators by herself in combat. Like the suits, they kill like one and a half more, slightly more. One died to a grenade, so so far we've killed like five in shooting, like, you know, the guns, not the grenades. Two and a half more will die to the Melta and like another one dies to Fidelis and then the grenade launchers on the suits. And so, well, we don't kill all of that many in the shooting, but, bet but you know, between the shooting and the combat, we just wipe the whole fucking unit. And we didn't even use any miracle dice because honestly, we would use them in combat with Vol anyway to guarantee those dev wounds. It's just like a crazy ass unit. So let's go after something like Morty. We get the same number of hits and wounds as Magnus, and after he rerolls a single 4-up invuln, we'll get through with like 11 and a half damage after his minus one with the Melta, and about one other wound with each other weapon. So in total, we do about 15 wounds, you know, ish, to this dude, to Morty, and then we did three to him with mortals with grenades. So yeah, dead Morty. Guardsman. Um, yeah, so like five-ish will die from the Melta. One and a half-ish will die from the grenades. Like, three will die to the missiles because it's rerolling everything. It's got blast and you're shooting at like a 20-man blob, maybe even 25, but you, it's like two and a half more from Fidelis. So in total, in total, from this unit, you'll wipe like 13 guardsmen, like who were in cover with take cover. And so they had a three up save. Like, and even if they do have a command squad, the damage on every weapon is more than one, so you're probably gonna get all 13 of them. Like, you might get 12, but you'll maybe get all 13. So, let's talk about their durability, because remember, we're in Bringers of Flame, and we have Armor of Contempt. So I'm not sure exactly what to, like, what to shoot them with, but this unit is not going away easily, unless it's, you know, 10 Votan Terminators. We all know how hard it is to simply get someone to fail a fucking save with Armor of Contempt. And these assholes have four wounds, so they're great against three damage weapons, but not so much against two damage weapons, unfortunately. However, we have access to Miracle Dice, 
and we do have a 4-up invuln with a 2-up save. If you're AP3, that brings me to a 3-up save, so like, no worries, I got Miracle Dice and I only need them to be a 3-up, and let's be real. By the time this unit actually gets shot back or interacted with, you know, because you were smart and you probably reserved them, and if you didn't, which is also valid, uh, they can just fly up, you know, 17 inches out of nowhere with Miracle Dice from the Triumph. So you're gonna have at least two Miracle Dice that are a 4+. plus. We have 4-up invulns. This, like, bring on the Melta. You'll, you'll do zero damage to this unit if I really care. And I still have access to a CP reroll. So while four wounds isn't all that much, failing saves becomes the challenge here when you can just, like, fucking auto-pass 3-ups. Like, what? And it's fucked because Vol puts out so much damage in combat, especially with access to dev miracles, that even when you kill her unit, she still does 13 damage to something that's toughness 12 with like a 2-up save, basically. It's, it's outrageous, dude. So like, let's do like 6 Iron Striders, shoot them. 8 of them will hit, 2 are sustained, so you're gonna get 10. 7 of them are gonna wound, I auto-pass 2 of them, so I roll 5 and I fail like 2. I reroll one of them and I just likely pass it because it's a 3-up. One of them goes through, and like a full suit goes down, so like, Two units of entire Iron Strider shoot me, and it kills one guy. Now, funnily enough, I recently wiped this entire unit with Votan Terminators with just mass volumes of fire. Like 70 shots with sustained two, and lethals, and plus one to hit, and plus one to wound. It tends to just drown things in armor saves, and I have devs that get in there too, so... And on average, I should kill this entire unit, but generally speaking, like... These suits are actually pretty durable. But yeah, like, there's just... A lot of things that I could shoot this unit this unit with to demonstrate that it's very durable, but it's like there's almost too much to consider. There's going to be things that just happen to be tuned to take them out, like things with a lot of dev wounds, with rerolls to wound, or like high AP damage to shots, but when it comes to anti-tank, they just bounce it back at you. Like, I don't know. Six Thunderers, they get 21 shots with sustained two, so you get 21 hits. 18-ish wound, 18 and a half, or 17 and a half. I'm on a two-up save, so I just auto-pass two of them, I guess, and then I'll re-roll another, so it basically eliminates three of them from the wound pool. I take 14 and a half saves, which, like, two and a half dies. So, you kill, like, one model. Alright, well, like, what if they shoot their own unit? The grenade has to happen first. So, three wounds on someone. Meltas should then shoot, you know, five basically six hits, basically five wounds, I auto-pass two of them, three and a half go through, or three and a half I have to roll four, you know, I've got a four-up in bone, I re-roll one of them, basically means like one of them will fail, which will be like, on the, it'll be on the one wound guy, I guess, in that case, and so, you know, I burn, burned all my cool stuff to do it, but hey, I took, like, one guy died from all your stuff that's important, all your melta. The grenades will get, like, half a wound through, and do, like, a wound, the missiles will get, like, two wounds through, but I have a two-up save, and I, it's some fractional amount of damage. It'll probably do like a wound. Uh, the Fidelis thing then shoots is probably like the same thing. So, you know, one and a half wounds there. And so that will be enough to kill like a second guy, I'm pretty sure. Um, now, if you shoot your weapons in a different order, you'll be able to kill this, the second, maybe the third model as well, but either way, like it, it's kind of hard. So it seems like a good comparison there, like something that can just press delete on them. Like, they actually almost survived that as well, so pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. It's like impossible to kill as well sometimes. I, I like it. It's 370 points, so you're paying a lot of points for this, but it should be durable, I guess. But like, my god, if you can't deal with this unit, you probably just lose. Like, it will just blast through, <laughs> it'll just blast its way around the table, and it has the potential to kill two different units every turn, maybe even more, actually, between like melee and combat. I think I made my point. If you guys have any other examples of this unit being absolutely fucking cracked, just feel free to post it in the comments below. Doing that really helps. So once you're done doing that, reroll all hits and wounds against the like button, which means just press it. Purge Nurgle's bell icon, which also means press it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and check out our other videos as well. Just, just don't watch the stupid ones. Don't watch those. Watch the good and fun ones. And that's gonna do it for me, Novitiates. Purge the Witch, the Mutant, the Heretic. And I'll catch you in the next video.